The two masses in this problem are connected by a string that passes over a pulley. We're given the values for mass A and mass B. Mass B is bigger than mass A, so that when it's released, A will go up and B will start to accelerate down. We're asked in part A to find the acceleration of each of the masses. Let's do this by drawing two free body diagrams, one for each mass. Block A has two forces acting on it. Its weight goes straight down and the tension T is directed straight up along the string. The free body diagram for mass B looks very similar. Its weight is directed down and its tension is directed up along the string. For each of these free body diagrams, let's call the direction of motion the positive direction. So mass A, which will rise when it's released from rest, has positive Y directed up. And mass B, which will descend when released from rest, has positive in the downward direction. So that block A's acceleration will equal block B's acceleration. The same magnitude, because they're tied together by a string, and the same direction, the direction of motion. Now we can solve part A by writing down Newton's second law. Adding all the forces in the y direction equals mass times acceleration in that direction. We'll do this first for mass A and then again for mass B. Summing the forces on mass A comes from the free body diagram. Tension is in the positive direction and weight is in the negative, And that equals mass of A times its acceleration. Writing this again for mass B, we now have tension in the negative y direction because y is positive in the downward direction for mass B and weight is in the positive, and that equals mass of B times A. We now have two equations for two unknowns. We don't know the tension, and we don't know the acceleration. Perhaps the easiest way to solve these is to take the equation for B, move it over here, and add it to the equation for A, so that the tension, one of our unknowns, disappears from the equation. And we end up with the difference in the masses times G, equals the sum of the masses times A. Solve this for the acceleration A and substitute values. The difference in the masses is 13 kilograms and the sum is 43 kilograms. Multiply by the acceleration of gravity G to find the acceleration of each block is 2.96 meters per second squared. Part B asks us to find the tension in the string. We can do this by substituting values into either of the F equals MA equations for A or B. Let's take the equation for A, move it down here, and solve it for the tension. So we get mass of A multiplied by the acceleration plus G. Substitute values and calculate to find the tension is 191 newtons.